Moving to matters business now, the Nairobi Securities Exchange is seeking to set up uh, an oversight committee to govern operations of the newly licensed derivatives market. In an ad in today's dailies, the board sought applications for interested parties to join the oversight committee. The team will be an independent committee of the NSC that will essentially advise on risks, strategic issues and oversight roles relating to the derivatives market and the NSC clearing house. Now, the derivatives market is seen as a step towards deepening the capital markets by allowing listings of instruments like future contracts and options. It is expected to offer a wide range of investment options while allowing the investors to manage risks associated with changing currency and interest rates. Mobile network service provider Safaricom has made a move to capture a bigger slice of the country's fixed line market segment, traditionally dominated by Orange Kenya, in a move that is likely to spark a price war in the aggressively competitive telecommunication industry. Safaricom has embarked on a marketing campaign that compares its offering with that of its competitors. Safaricom has traditionally offered fixed line services through its corporate arms, Safaricom Business. Now, the key focus has been on corporate organizations organizations and recently small and middle-sized businesses. The company has, however, begun an aggressive strategy to capture a bigger share of the opportunities from the private and public sector across the country. Safaricom currently charges a four shilling flat rate to make calls, while Telcom Kenya charges six shillings for on-net calls and 12 shillings for calls to other networks on the fixed line. Latest data from the Communications Authority shows the number of fixed lines continue to shrink with the number of subscribers in the last quarter standing at 2,001 2,233,000 uh, down from 206,129 lines in the previous quarter. In particular, fixed terrestrial lines declined by 7.2% and stood at 52,053.